what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i'm going to go over my theory on another theory on what i believe the creeper could be as you saw in the thumbnail i'm going to be going over a theory where um we discussed the fact that the creeper might might have been a human that was a cannibal a cannibalistic human that early pole settlers uh who i'm going to say were indian shaman who came across this person in the area he might even he, let's say he actually was even one of them he was one of them and he was a cannibal there was a cannibal amongst these early poho county settlers these indian shaman and to cast him out they ended up doing something that they thought would be effective but it ended up resulting in what we now have stalking the poho county area stalking the whole east nine portula county bannon county kinsel county wheaton valley area that whole those all those counties that go across the span of east nine in the fictional uh highway of jeepers creepers so getting into where i want to start off with this the creeper again i believe was a indian shaman or one of the indian shamans one of these early people who came to the area of poho county all the counties that we know and love or are familiar with from the jeepers creeper series he was amongst these indian shaman in the original cathedral script we find out that this this thing is a phoenix demon um and that early poho settlers that's what they called it they just called it a phoenix demon phoenix demon and they have like totems they come across totems that were built with emblems of this thing on it so let's go into that a bit these i'm just taking bits of that and making my own theory here at this point so we find out in jeepers creepers 4 this is how i would have us find out we find this out in jeepers creepers 4 early early settlers in in the east nine area in these counties in poho county in specific they were indian shaman amongst these shaman were was one individual who for whatever reason developed a tendency a tendency to eat his own kind he had a taste for humans a taste for human flesh he was not satisfied with the food they had out there he was still hungry one day he turned to cannibalism he ever since that first time he tried a human he's had a taste for that flesh ever since of course the settlers they let's say the settlers took note of the fact that he there was something wrong with him and the fact that he had a taste for his own kind and how he probably would go he would leave the area and go get other people other humans and eat them and he was just he, he he was just an indian shaman who turned into a cannibal the shaman the other shaman people who were amongst him they take note of this they're going to want to get rid of this guy because he's he's an issue he's possibly going to turn around and eat them at some point so they come up with a spell or they cast some type of because we know shamans have type of uh which realistic powers they come up with a spell they they use their powers to try to cast him out that doesn't work what ends up happening is all this magic that they're that they're trying to do on this on this on this guy to cast him out that's what ends up creating the creeper he instead of being casted out he's turned into some some demonic entity that they now have no possible way of understanding how to come back um, and then also another thing that I want to speak on to address how exactly the thing comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days in the original film we know Giselle tells us that the creeper comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days and it gets to eat maybe perhaps when these Indian shaman were trying to cast him out and just abolish him entirely with shaman rituals they wanted to end his life in the worst way possible uh, let's say they were trying to cast him out by of course performing one of the most heinous spells you could possibly perform on a human and they were channeling all these spirits and all these different entities because indian shamans i know this is in religious beliefs they have access to uh the spiritual world let's say that some of these spirits were a combination of demons and they were trying to trying to trying to channel the essence of these demons to to in hopes of hopes of that channeling channeling these demons and the essence of these demons it was going to lead to giving this guy the most heinous death imaginable it didn't do that actually by fusing and channeling all these essences all it did was all these demons did was become one inside this person his exterior was transformed into what we now know to be the creeper his lifespan of course was transformed and now he's immortal 
and now he has wings which is an aspect of one of the demons that they tried to use against him in in regards to this ritual that they wanted to use on him to kill him uh he comes out every 23rd day every 23rd spring for 23 days because of the simple fact that let's say after this failed botched ritual occurred he terrorized the land for 23 days and then at some point their spell actually worked he was rendered uh he was rendered useless he was brought down into that cocoon we know we see him in at the end of jeepers creepers 2 he is no longer going to be terrorizing the area for they don't know how how long because again this is the first time he's actually been brought down after terrorizing the area for 23 days after this botched ritual their spell seems to have had at least some type of effect where he now can only operate on a certain time limit um and then of course they don't know how long they're they're skeptical of course that he's not going to be kept in this cocoon forever so of course time comes and goes some of the settlers there die the people who were there 23 years later and still monitoring the thing they noticed that of course it came back to life it came back to life it it, it awakened once again and now it's feeding on it's feeding on the, the the other shaman that did this to him and it's eating their parts it's eating them and regenerating their parts to make them a part of him as we all know that's what the creeper does and then at the same time they have another 23 day feeding cycle that ends and he goes back into that cocoon again time goes by and then the next set of settlers in who are still a part of this is still uh, descendants of the shaman they take note of the fact that again here we are once again 23 years later and for 23 days this thing is back and it's eating it's eating humans again it's feeding off of humans and now also their ritual has now given it re the rich this ritual is also how the creeper got its regen its regeneration powers to regenerate uh not only is it eating humans it's regenerating it can regenerate parts so taking note of all that they now are spreading this folklore that every 23rd spring for 23 days this thing gets to eat this gets passed down from the shaman to the people who we now know live in the area passed down to the people who have come in contact with it passed down to people who have heard of the legend in the area of poho county people who have heard the legend up and down the, the highway of east nine in the films this is just how the thing operates because of the fact this is what his uh shaman the people that he came from this is what they took note of their botched spell led to this led to this person becoming something far worse uh an unstoppable demon that is now he's an, an unstoppable demonic cannibal because again he was a cannibal when he was a human and that's the whole reason they wanted to punish him he was using let's also say he was abusing his his shaman capabilities his because we know shaman the the legend is that shaman have all these capabilities to do these powerful things they can channel the the spirit realm so the creeper was a when he was a human he's abusing these things he's eating humans they want to get rid of him but their their spell how they want to go about doing it it was botched they wanted to use they wanted to channel the demonic realm to use that against him in in hopes that it was going to kill him all this did was become these essences and these aspects of these demons all that happened with with this was that they all became one with this guy this is how the, this is how he became immortal this is how he is now able to regenerate body parts this is why he has wings uh a wing, the wings again coming from the aspects of one of the demons that they channeled and this is also why every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat now let now of course yes i'm saying that this happened in the springtime there's no real concrete answer i don't think as to why it has to be 23 days this is again just something that they took note of they noticed that after that initial botch and when he was terrorizing them after 23 days he went into he went into a cocoon and then 23 years later they found out that this thing is 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 now back and then after that occurring multiple times this is the notion that led us to every 23rd spring for 23 days the creeper gets to eat this is why the creeper eats this is why people say that the creeper eats every 23rd spring for 23 days because this is just something that that botch spell led us to there's no real rhyme or reason as to why it is that's just what it is based off of what the early indian shamans noticed in this in regards to their botch spell so that is what i think the creeper could also be he could be a cannibalistic human 
who was an Indian shaman. He was part of these early settlers in the Pohol County area, Petrilla County, the whole East Nine shebang. He was one of these early Indian shamans who was a cannibal. He, he turned into a cannibal. He started eating his own kind, eating other humans, started feeding on one of the shamans in his own tribe. And the other shamans wanted to get rid of him by channeling the essences of certain demons, channeling the essences of all these other spirit realms and using their powers to give him the most painful death imaginable. But instead, it resulted in the creation of the creeper. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.